Hello, I'm Arthur Blankenship with Argent Building and Conservation. This video addresses the single largest waste of water in the apartment environment. And that single largest waste of water is leaking toilets. Leaking toilets can use a very large amount of water, much greater than most people realize. Our top three records for the amount of water that went through one toilet in one month is 204,000 gallons, 180,000 gallons, 176,000 gallons through one toilet in one month. We, we regularly report toilet leaks in excess of 100,000 gallons per month. For repair parts and maintenance of toilets, the least expensive type of maintenance is preventative maintenance. A good preventative maintenance program recognizes that toilet parts have only a three to five year life. The neoprene and rubber that's used in fill valves and flush valves wears out after three to five years and needs to be replaced. The first factor to influence toilet performance is the fill valve or ball cock. Fill valves have gaskets which may be replaceable or you may have to replace the entire fill valve when it becomes defective. Remember it takes only a very small grain of sand or other debris to cause a water level adjustment to fail on the fill valve. The proper tank water level is about an inch below the standpipe and most toilet tanks have a water level line stamped inside them. The hose line running from the fill valve to the standpipe is a source of water to refill the bowl when the toilet is flushed. A new fill valve assembly will have more than enough hose line and the line needs to be trimmed at installation. A very common installation mistake is to have too much hose line thrust down the throat of the standpipe, which causes siphon leaks. The line needs to be trimmed and fastened to the top of the standpipe at installation. Older style fill valves have float arms which can hang up with oil toilet parts that with the side of the tank. To properly operate, the float arm must be free and clear. The second item to influence a toilet operation, and probably the most important, is the flapper valve. The flapper valve is the single largest problem in toilets, causing the most serious issues, easily going over 100,000 gallons of water loss in one month. The importance of an original equipment manufacturer, or OEM, flapper part is huge. Many toilets simply will not work unless an OEM part is utilized. This happens for several reasons, including the seal of the flapper over the flush hole, the use of a flapper floater ball on the flapper, and other items specific to the flapper itself. The third item affecting toilet performance is a trip handle, often called the flush handle. This is an area where, again, an OEM type part is often critical for proper toilet operation. And there are a number of things that can go wrong with the trip handle. You can have the wrong part, the handle may be too long, the handle may be too short, the chain from the handle may be too long causing it to wrap around the flapper and causing the flapper to hang open, the chain may be too short not allowing the flapper to seal properly and therefore causing the toilet to leak, the mounting bolt may come loose on the trip handle, and lastly the trip handle can be rusty or worn out and simply just needs to be replaced. The fourth item affecting toilet performance and the one that is most often overlooked is high water pressure. Ottoman water pressure is 50 psi, though we have seen it as high as 140 psi. High water pressure will float the flapper valve open in the toilet, causing excess water to flow through the system. And there are two things caused by high water pressure. On the one hand, it will cause a premature failure of all plumbing parts, pieces, and pipes. And the other item is it will cause too much water to flow through the entire plumbing system. Water pressure is controlled by a pressure regulating valve, or PRV. PRVs have about an eight to 10 year life, and only the very largest ones can be rebuilt, and most cannot be adjusted. The PRV may be located at different points on the property, it may be at the provider, municipal supplier provider meter. It may be in zones feeding multiple buildings. It may be on an individual building or it may also be inside an apartment unit. The optimum location is for it to be located at a provider meter as this reduces the pressure in the supply lines. Water pressure gauges cost about $15. You should add another $5 for a shower arm adapter. And while you can test water pressure at any point along the water service line, such as an outside hose bib or a washing machine connection, 
These typically do not have enough room clearance for the test gauge. Therefore, a shower arm is the best place to test water pressure. The fifth item to affect toilet performance are foreign objects placed inside the tank or bowl which affect flush quality. These foreign objects may be cleaners in plastic or glass bottles. They may be bricks or gallon jugs used to displace water. It could be sand, silt, gravel, or other grunge which interrupts the toilet operation. 